We are now but days away from one of the most important times in United States history, and that is our 2024 election. We are either going to go straight into bondage, suppression. Um, we are going to be not free. We're going to have massive amounts of our freedoms taken away. Society is still going to continue to crumble economically if Kamala Harris wins, not to mention uh, her political opposition being highly sought after uh, by the likes of these three letter agencies. And on the other hand, we have got freedom, we've got better health, we've got a better society, a better economy under Donald J. Trump. This is a huge point, but we cannot fail uh, to discount either uh, congressional elections as well. The House and the Senate are also very important. In fact, in today's broadcast, since we're so close to this election, uh, I want to ask, do the Democrats have a doomsday plan in place if Trump wins the, U the U.S. election? And the truth of the matter is, they absolutely do. And you are not going to like what they fully intend to do, at least according to some of the personnel in Congress. Now, I have talked about this once before, but considering we're days away from the election, I wanted to bring it back up with a little more newer information. But let's start first with this article on Zero Hedge. Uh, and it's headlined here, is this the Democrats' doomsday plan in case Donald Trump wins? Now, before they actually get in the plan, and, and again, this is something that I've talked about on my channel before, uh, it gets into some of the details of what we need count-wise. Now, we all know uh, that we need 270 to win the race. That's what we're actually looking at. And as it stands right now, here's what we got for each candidate, right? The path to victory is a list of states that you can win that add up to 270 or more electoral votes. This is where the concept of battleground states come in. Harris is all but certain to win a list of states, including California, New York, and Washington. Those are Democrat. They've pretty much always voted Democrat. Kamala has that in the bank. Trump is all but certain to win another list of states, including Tennessee, Indiana, Kentucky, and Louisiana. Those, for the most part, have been more Republican in nature. Those sure thing states are followed by a list of likely states, right? Likely for Harris. These include Illinois, New Jersey, Virginia. And for Trump, they include Texas, Florida, and Missouri. Now, once these sure thing and likely states are added up, Harris has about 215 electoral votes and Trump has about 219. So slightly there in, a, in advance, uh, a, a slight advantage to Trump from Harris, right? Both candidates fall short of the 270 votes needed to win. This brings us to the true battleground states or toss-up states, like right here in Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Minnesota, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Nebraska, which divides votes by congressional, uh, congressional districts. There are 104 electoral votes in this toss-up category. Trump needs 51 of those 104 toss-ups and Harris needs about 55. Now, Trump's path to victory is straightforward. He needs to win everything he won in 2022, right? That seems highly likely as of now, although the race is close in North Carolina, according to Real Clear Politics and North Carolina, is still on the edge because of all the chaos that they went through uh, not that long ago with the hurricane. Can people get out? What's going on? So that's on the fence for me a little bit in light of everything that happened, right? But he would also need to flip Arizona and Georgia into his grasp. Now, he lost both in 2020, but is ahead in both as of now, according to these particular um polls, right? With Arizona and Georgia in hand, Trump only needs to win Pe Pennsylvania to cross the 270 vote threshold. He could lose Wisconsin, Michigan, and Nevada and still win the White House if he takes Pennsylvania. Now, of course, there's other alternatives, paths that he could take. Trump could lose Pennsylvania and still win the White House if he takes Virginia and Nevada. That's a wash. Trump could lose Pennsylvania and still win if he takes Michigan and Wisconsin. So there's all kinds of loopholes and stuff that they could do. There's ways that it can play out. We just don't 
know exactly how it's going to play out, right? But the bottom line here is even if he wins the election, Democrats still have a massive trick up their sleeve. And I have been warning about this for the past couple of months, but in light of what's going on with the election right now and how close we are, we definitely need to be aware of this again. And it says this, even if Trump can win the election with 270 or more electoral college votes, likely as of now, the fight will not be over. The Democrats have another lawfare trick up their sleeves. If Democrats retake the House of Representatives, then on January 6, 2025, the new Democrat-controlled House could pass a resolution that Trump is an insurrectionist and disqualify his electoral votes under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, right? What happens if that happens? Well, Kamala would not have the 270 electoral votes needed to win. This would throw the election of the president to the House of Representatives voting as state delegations, not as individuals. Under the 12th Amendment, 1804, only Kamala Harris could receive votes for president, assuming Trump was disqualified or no other candidate won any electors at all. J.D. Vance would suffer no insurrectionist disqualification, so the result could be Harris as president and J.D. Vance as VP. Now, another possibility is that the Republican-controlled state delegations in the House could boycott the presidential vote, in which case a quorum would be lacking. In this case, the VP, J.D. Vance, shall act as president under the 12th Amendment. This is not a far-fetched scenario. Democrats, led by Jamie Raskin, have already set the wheels into motion. In fact, let me um, actually play Jamie Raskin's clip for you regarding uh, igniting um, just that. Take a listen to this clip. What can be put into the Constitution can slip away from you very quickly. And the greatest example going on right now before our very eyes is Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which they're just disappearing with a magic wand, as if it doesn't exist, even though it could not be clearer what it's stating. And so, you know, they want to kick it to Congress. So it's going to be up to us on January 6, 2025, to tell the rampaging Trump mobs that he's disqualified. And then we need bodyguards for everybody and civil war conditions, all because the nine justices, not all of them, but these justices who have um, not many cases to look at every year, not that much work to do, a huge staff, great protection, simply do not want to do their job and interpret what the great 14th Amendment means. And I'm glad that Sherilyn's creating her new- There you go. So in other words, it's up to them. If they, if they win, if they take House, Senate, if they got that and they got enough votes, they're going to say, we're going to vote uh, that Donald Trump is an insurrectionist. And therefore, because we call him insur insurrectionist, doesn't even have to be proven that he is or isn't. They're going to call him one with no regard to what the American people voted for. It's up to them, he said, up to the Democrats to say, you're an insurrectionist and you're out. Now, that would completely usurp the vote of the American people if he did win. How on earth they could get away with such, with such actions are above and beyond anything that I have ever heard or seen. But they're literally saying if we win and we take that and he gets the presidency, we're going to act. You know, civil war conditions and we're going to use uh, the amendments and, 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 and remove him from office immediately. To damned be you for voting him in. This is insane. If they're willing to uproot Joe Biden, right, and, and install Kamala Harris without a single vote, what do you think they're willing to do to Donald J. Trump if he wins the election and they take the House, right? Senate, House and Senate. What happens then? There's a lot hinging on this United States election. But there is no recourse for them. They don't care about democracy. They're out there saying Trump's a threat to democracy when they are literally usurping democracy. And Lord only knows what the hell the United States of America is going to look like after that. This is a very important election. Meanwhile, they're the ones out there lying, say, Don saying Donald Trump wants to ignite a coup. When in my opinion, this is exactly what the Democrats are doing when they say we're going to 
remove him from office and call him an insurrectionist, even if America votes him in. Take a look at this. This is on Breitbart News. Representative Dan Goldman, Trump plans to execute a coup on January 6th. Again, this article was published back in September of 2024, but I think it, it rings ever so clear in our head today because we're right by the election. But take a look. Dan Goldman, he sent this email out to his people, by the way. Dan Goldman here with an important update on Trump and New York. In just a few hours, Trump's going to hold a rally there. Trump knows his campaign campaign can't win New York, but he's here. Why does he care? Because he wants Mike Johnson, the architect of the 2020 effort to overturn the election, which he didn't, to be Speaker of the House on January 6, 2025, in order to execute a coup when he loses. We can't let that happen, so please send us your money. That's Representative Dan Goldman there. So Raskin, Goldman, and many others have threatened to do similar things things and it's chilling to the very core please 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 get out and vote early bank your vote if get out right now and get your vote in early i can't stress that enough i do not trust i do not trust election day please bank your vote please vote early mark my words i want you to get there i want to make sure that your voice is heard. I don't know uh, what's going to happen on election day and we never do look hurricanes and all kinds of bad things have happened and I just want to make sure that we can solidify our vote. So please make sure to bank your vote and get out there and make your voice heard and bring many of your friends or encourage friends to get out there and vote as well. Anyhow, with that, please make sure you subscribe right now to RestrictedRepublic.com. I've got so much more exclusive intel on this site that you're not getting anywhere else. Right now, YouTube is free to you guys, but it's not really free, right? Because what they are giving you is information that they want you to hear. That's why it's free. And that's why they're able to, to do that. Go to Restricted Republic night right now. Restricted Republic right now. Subscribe there. Use the coupon code Lisa and the number five to get it for $5 per month. And uh, you can get the real information about what's truly happening in society, especially in light of what's going on with the election. You need to get that insight there. So check it out at restrictedrepublic.com. Anyhow, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. I truly appreciate all of you. And I love you all. I'm Lisa Haven signing out.